Good morning, friends. It's Miss Susan. Happy Sunday. I'm so happy that you're here for our early childhood large group. And today our Bible story is about a man whose name was Moses. And it's also about how powerful God is and how awesome his powers are. It's also got something about a sea, which is like an ocean, and how the man Moses was able to do something that is incredible with the sea. It has to do with the number two and how it was split. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna sing, we're gonna dance, we're gonna pray, and we are gonna have the best time. So here we go. Have a great week, friends. Bye. Only God can hang the stars in outer space. Only he can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a way There's nothing he can't do No, there's nothing he can't do Cause he can do anything, anything at all Giant too big, no mountain too tall I know God is powerful, yeah, anything He can do anything, anything at all Only God can hang the stars in outer space Only He can make a rainbow from the rain Only God can part the seas to make a to see all of you here today it's sunday which means we get to worship god and i'm so excited all right so all month long we're learning about how god is so so powerful and so how amazing he is all right so whenever i say who is powerful i want you to say god's powerful are you ready who's powerful god's powerful good job who's powerful god's powerful good job all right so we are going to go ahead and do our memory verse so it's going to start with great great is our Lord, is our Lord, and mighty in power, and mighty in power. And that's in Psalm, Psalm 147, 5. 147, 5. Good job, we're going to do it two more times. Are you ready? Great, great, is our Lord, is our Lord, and mighty in power, and mighty in power. And that's in Psalm, Psalm 147, 5. 147, 5. All right, one more time, you ready? Great, great is our Lord, is our Lord, and mighty in power, and mighty in power. And that's in Psalm, Psalm 147, 5, 147, 5. 
Good job. All right, we're going to go ahead and watch our Bible story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, friends. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. I'm Aisha. It's so good to see you today. I've been working on making the most amazing cupcakes. Do you want to see them? Ta-da! <laughs> These are my Blue Raspberry Wave cupcakes in honor of today's story. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with God's people and the mean king. His name was Pharaoh. He hurt God's people and tried to keep them locked up. So, God sent a guy named Moses to help them. Let's call for Moses. Can you help me? On the count of three, let's yell, Moses! One, two, three. Moses! <gasps> there you are. Moses told Pharaoh God wanted him to let the people go. Moses had to tell him a lot of times to let the people go. And Pharaoh finally said, yes, God's people can go. Hooray! <laughs> God's people were free. God, with his big power, saved the people from the Pharaoh. Moses led them away from Egypt and out into the desert. They walked until they reached a really big sea. But, uh-oh! Everyone say that with me. Uh-oh! Pharaoh changed his mind. He wanted the people to come back. So he sent soldiers after them. God's people were scared. What are we going to do, Moses, they said. There's a really big sea in front of us, and Pharaoh's soldiers are behind us. There is nowhere for us to go. But Moses reminded them that God is powerful, and he would tell them what to do. God told Moses to hold out his staff over the water. Then, do you know what happened? God, in all his big, great, mighty power, split the water in two and made a dry path down the middle. Look! It was amazing! It was something only God could do. Now the people could just walk right through to the other side. Can you imagine walking on dry ground and seeing a whole wall of water on the side of you and another wall of water on the other side? <laughs> so incredible. God's power is awesome. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie, tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is powerful? God is powerful. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. All right, friends. So today in our Bible story, we learned about Moses and how he split the sea in half, which is so, so cool. All right, so who is powerful? God's powerful, good job, and we can always remember that. So we're gonna go ahead and pray. So I want you to put your hands out super wide, and we're gonna say, let us pray, and just repeat after me. Dear God, dear God, you are so awesome. You are so awesome. Thank you, thank you for making a way, for making a way for your people, for your people to walk across, to walk across. There is no one, there is no one more powerful than you, more powerful than you. We love you. We love you. And in Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, I will see you next week. Bye.